Hey folks, today I wanted to do a video on my do-it-yourself back seat add-on to a, well this is uh, an Olds Dominator side-by-side uh, -side UTV. I uh, built this up myself from raw steel. Um, built it so that it fits between my wheel wells. Um, I have options to mount the seat so it sits facing towards the back or I can move it back towards tailgate and sit it so you're facing forward. Um, this box here is uh, an identical match to like a Yamaha Rhino. So I guess this modification would work for that as well. Um, this Olds make, for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a uh, kind of a knockoff, a Chinese unit spelt O-D-E-S. Uh, it's been a good rig. It's an 800 twin. At any rate, my family's growing and I need to add a seat to the back so we can uh, still get out and enjoy ourselves. So um, anyway, it's not a, uh, it's not rocket science or anything. The, the mount, realistically, it was built just so it suits this seat that I found at a uh, local auto parts store here. Uh, Princess Auto, it's called. I'll uh, get it all put together here, get it mounted in place and uh, show you some more pictures of it here so okay here's another view of uh, my mount mounted to my seat or I flip it over and put it in the uh, side by side here so just give you an idea of this angle of it okay what I used here so Angle iron C channel, some square tube. Okay, and here's the finished product mounted in the uh, side by side here. So, this is the seat all folded out, nothing real fancy. Um, just kind of sits up, not quite against the roll bar, didn't want to hear it rattling around and stuff. So mounted it just in front. Um, I don't have any seat belt options yet. I've found a few things on eBay. Um, might have to, if I want to go anything over and above a lap belt, might have to rig up a bar across the top here so I can mount like a, a four point or a three point or whatever the case may be. But nonetheless, I think uh, for now, I just wanted to get this mounted and see how it worked. So um, anyway, on this seat, like I say, generic seat, um, funny enough here, it was 20 bucks. Um, you know, you can find these things all over the place. This one didn't start its life out as 20 bucks. I think it was almost a couple of hundred and then it was on sale one day and I picked it up and it's been sitting in my garage for about a year and a half and here I am finally getting after it. So sure you know, uh, It's here, uh, so not, you know, crazy height or anything. I, I wanted it somewhat low. Um, my kids are uh, five and four, so, um, you know, I wanted some protection. I very well still might add a roll bar into this system. Um, if I do that, I'll probably turn the seat around too, but uh, nonetheless gives you an idea. Four bolts just drilled and bolted through the floor. Show you those on the center. You see the, the nuts and the washer hanging down there. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, with this machine being a a, uh, a not so common machine, there wasn't a lot of options for back seats. You're kind of on your own. So, um, this is it. What you can do. Oh, one more thing, I guess this seat folds too. There you go. So I guess if you didn't want to unbolt it, you could always stack things on top of it too, wood, whatever the case. So, there you have it. Back seat, Olds Dominator, or uh, Rhino. It's more or less a Rhino box. So, Yamaha Rhino. And, uh, 
there you have it. Any questions or comments, please feel free. Uh, comment. Uh, I've listed my, my Twitter account there too if you want to follow me and I can follow you back and answer any questions real time. And uh, please subscribe. I'll be uh, adding more of my projects here in the near future. So thanks, guys.